Hello and welcome to episode four of that Raw Raw Kids podcast. I am Kelly. Um, I'm also known as Raw Raw Kids through most of social media, but um, the main places you'll find me is uh, Instagram and YouTube these days. Um, but I'm also Raw Raw Kids on Ravelry and things like that. Um, this is a knitting and designing podcast. Um, I am a knitting designer based in the northeast of England. And um, yeah, if you are a, a new viewer, then you are more than welcome. And if you are a returning viewer, then thank you very much for having faith in coming back. <laughs> um, I'm actually in a different spot in my house um, this episode because my desk is so untidy that I couldn't possibly put you through that. It would just be like chaos behind me. Um, I also need to apologise massively for the state of that um, video last podcast. Uh, the, the quality was horrendous. I've had quite the nightmare when it comes to recording. Um, I have an iPhone 11, um, so it's one of the newer models. It's not the newest, I don't think, but it's one of the newer models of an iPhone. Um, but I have a Microsoft computer laptop, so getting my videos off my iPhone onto my computer has been an absolute nightmare. And to the point where um, if I record longer than 20 minutes, the computer can't see the video and I'm having to cut them up to make them smaller and then it can see them and then it won't play them and oh, nightmare. So last week or last fortnight, I thought I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use my camera and we'll do it this way not realising how bad that it would be. The camera's quite old. I should have known. Um, I couldn't see anything. It's got no viewfinder on it or anything. I couldn't see. And I, I was so swamped with everything else. I just didn't have time to record it all again. So I'm really, really sorry. <laughs> it was a dodgy one. So this week, I am using my old Galaxy Android phone, um, which is why I've got a little... That's probably just went... <laughs> I've got a little microphone on um, because you have to with this phone uh, and hopefully it'll all work. Um, if you hear pottering around, my boyfriend is upstairs walking about. My dog is also right here next to me and she gets up and down and huffs and puffs and scratches and moans and everything else. <laughs> okay, let's get on with what we've got to get on with. So, um, finished objects this last two weeks. I've had a, not a lot of knitting time at all. Um, basically because I've been writing up patterns and doing charts and things. And I also um, had a, a sock to knit from start to finish while filming. And I had to do that sock on a magic loop and also on DPN. So I had to knit a bit, then pull it out, then knit it again. And then, and I had to keep kind of knitting the sock like this. So it's potentially been knitted twice, but I've got one sock. <laughs> so finished objects first, let's see. We'll start with um, the Stitch on Sunday blanket because that's still ongoing. I'm um, just gonna have a slurp of tea. I'll edit any slurping noises out because it's awful. So week, um, we're up to week 23 and 24. I've just done 24. Sunday just gone. So this is week 23. And so this is paper dolls, which I think you can see the paper dolls straight away. And I absolutely love them all standing in a little line, holding hands. So that one was week 23. Put them up there. And then week 24, which has just come out just this Sunday, is Dotted Diamonds. See that one? So it's like 
a usual diamond pattern but it's got a little eyelet in between each one so that's that one so that's the two blanket squares that we've done this week I keep looking in the wrong place i'm sorry um and then finished objects well that's i'm classing that as finished object even though i've already said before it's a blanket it's all going to get sewn together so it's not actually finished i've finished the square so i'm probably cheating putting them in finished objects but I've got nothing else to show you this week, so this is the finished objects. So my other finished objects is um, these socks. So this is um, the sock that I'm using for a tutorial of how to knit socks. I've got the other one here. But this one is the one that was knitted. I did the cuff and then I did the cuff on Magic Loop. Then I did the cuff on DPN. Then I knitted the leg. I didn't knit the entire thing on camera. I like knitted a section of it on Magic Loop. Then I pulled it out. Then I knitted the section on DPN. Then I knit the rest off camera. And then I did the same with the heel flap and the heel turn and then the gusset. I had to keep pulling it back and re-knitting and then down to the toe. So it, I've only just finished recording the Kitchen A Stitch tutorial for the toe this morning. Um, so I'm going to write that up and get that into testing this week. So they are called um, Ballad of the Tenderfoot, which I thought was quite cute. Uh, so they're going into testing, um, but they are finished. That is a finished object because they're done. So that's those. Um, what was I going to say? I can't remember. I haven't got any other finished objects. That's it. Because that sock took so long. And what else was I doing? I have been knitting other things. I was working on... So we're down to whips now. Because that's it. That's all I've finished. <laughs> I'm so haphazard. So we're down to whips. So I did finish a vapour sock. Um, by Curious Handmade. Helen Stewart of Curious Handmade. And these are, put my hand in so you can see. These are really, really pretty. Got this little eyelet going down and then this little zigzaggy eyelet. And the back is plain. And this yarn is by Woolly Goodness. I don't know if you can see the sparkles in it. But it's a one of a kind colorway. So it's, it's like greens and pinks and it's got this silver sparkle to it. And it's, oh, you can see it there, a bit on the heel. It's really, really pretty. So, yes, loved them. And I've actually got so much yarn left. Look at all of that. I feel like I could get another pair of socks out of it when it's done. It's super soft as well. It's proper nice. Um, but I haven't cast on the second one. And the reason is... Um, I use tiny cirques and I use um, chia goos and chia goos are sharp and I ended up stabbing a hole in my finger and it was so bad I kept on stabbing it over and over again and it got to a point where I was like you can't stop now so I did so I finished the sock um, but I haven't cast the second one on. I am obviously going to cast the second one on, but I haven't yet because I needed to give my finger a break. So because of that, I finished the Ballad of the Tenderfoot socks. Um, they were on a 2.75 mil, um, which is a... I can't remember what that is in the US off the top of my head now. But they're on a 2.75 mil, which is slightly thicker because the um, Vapor socks are on a 2.25. So 2.75, which is slightly thicker because they're a DK sock. Um, but still, it was still hurting quite a bit. So I've actually moved on to my pink fizz and done loads of work on my pink fizz because it's on chunky needles on uh, 4.5 millimeter, I think, which is a US 7. Let me just check that. Oh, no, they're on a 4 millimeter, a US 6. I thought they were on chunkier than that. So I've moved on to this instead, 
um, to give myself a break. Um, before I go on to Pink Fizz, I just want to say about the Vapor Socks because... So, these are by um, Curious Handmade, which is Helen Stewart. And I've heard a lot... I've never knitted one of her patterns before. And I'd heard a lot about how she does like this... Um, like a percentage thing as you're working down the pattern so you know how much you've got left to do and she does like a little tick box for each um round that you're on and things like that and she does and it's brilliant and I've, I've i've got like part of it here where you can see i've ticked off each round that i've done or raw or whatever um it's fantastic but what i did find was that i didn't learn the pattern like for I think you cast on the you cast on the rib and she just tells you to do this amount of rib this many rounds so you do and then the pattern starts where you're ticking it off so the entire leg is ticking off I've done this row I've done this row I've done this row which is brilliant because you can see yourself getting to to the heel flap and then the heel flap is all ticking off the heel turn is ticking off the gusset is but then when you get to the foot it says continue until um it's this like your length it's continuing until it fits your foot basically till the toe um and i i didn't know the pattern <laughs> even though i'd knitted all of this i'd knitted all of this and i couldn't i hadn't it just hadn't gone into my head at all but I'm not slagging off a pattern because it's brilliant the way it's done and you do, you, you're 50%, oh, I'm halfway there. Like, you can see all this thing. But because of that, I hadn't learned to read the pattern or anything. I was completely stuck. So um, I ended up going to the chart and <laughs> I read from the chart. <laughs> if you watched the very first episode of this podcast... I said that I'm not a chart reader, can't read charts, makes my eyes go boggled, I have to write everything out. And since then, all I've done is work from bleeding charts, and I'm fine. <laughs> so I'm a liar. The first episode, I'm a big fat liar. I can read from charts. And I worked the foot from charts and learnt the pattern. But that's really weird for me to do, to like knit all of that and not, not take in that that pattern whatsoever. I could have been knitting anything. I didn't take it in. And then when I got to the foot, I was like, oh, I don't know. I don't know how this works. So yeah, brilliant pattern. Love the sock. But that was odd. That was that was alien to me. Very, very alien. I'm used to being able to read a lace pattern. So yeah. Anyway, <laughs> Pink Fizz. I did say last podcast that I wasn't going to show you Pink Fizz until I'd done a big chunk. And I can't quite remember how big it was um, the last in the last podcast. But now, it feels ginormous. So this... Oh, this is Pink Fizz now. So, I'm proper chugging along. Um, that's the back I'm showing you. But they're the same. It's just that the back's got a longer rib. So yeah, I'll show you the pattern a bit closer up. And well, that bit looks dodgy, doesn't it? <laughs> um, yeah, it's coming along all right. It's uh, and I'm doing it all from chart. And I have, believe it or not, I've still got another eighteen rows of chart to do. Um before I get to the armholes. So it's a long jumper, which I didn't I didn't expect. If I keep shoving this, I'm sorry, I'm not used to having it on anymore. I used to have to wear it all the time. Um, so yeah, pink fizz. It's coming along really nicely and I can more than likely guarantee I can I can guarantee because I knit it every Friday anyway. Um, but that's all it used to be. But now I'm knitting it on a lot of nights as well because I've got nothing else to knit while I rest my finger. Um, so yes, I can guarantee that the next time you see it, I'll be at the sleeves, the armholes, and we'll we'll see what happens then. But um, 
it's a really fun knit I'm really enjoying it it's it's got so much lace work in it but then because it's broken up by those bits of stocking stitch it gives you a little a little breather and it's I really I'm really enjoying it really good recommend pink fizz so far I haven't got to the, to, to, the, to the sleeves yet but when we do we'll see um right do you really want to know about my lariat I should have been wearing it shouldn't I I would have if it was sewn up. Oh, the ever ever saga of Lariat. Right. I got the other sleeve done. Look at the state of it. I'm, I hope this all sorts itself out with blocking. Um, yeah, I've, I did get the sleeve done. So I started on the side. Uh, so this side is almost done. I've got a little bit left to go. And then um, I've got this entire side to go. I've got the side and the underarm. And then it's done. And then I'm going to block the hell out of it and hope that I can fix my sewing botch, my botched sewing attempt. Never again. Never, never again. I'm not doing another top flat. I'm just, I'm not good enough at sewing and I'm not, that is my intarsia and sewing up are two things that can just get out. <laughs> I'm not a fan and I'm rubbish at them, absolutely rubbish at them and I have no qualms saying that, I'm bad, I'm bad. So... Give me lace knitting and knitting in the round and even cables and colour work and I'm fine with all of those things. But sewing up and intarsia, we, we don't like each other. We are not friends. So I'm getting there very, very slowly, but it is very slowly because I just don't want to do it at all. I'm forcing myself to do it and that's probably not helping. One day I'll be on here wearing it. One day. <laughs> and that's it for um, whips as well. I, that's, that's my whips. So my whips is my pink lace. Pink lace? Pink fizz. It's very lacy though. My pink fizz, my lariat, my vapor socks. Um, and obviously the Stitch on Sunday blanket is ongoing. Um, future knitting. Future future knitting don't know what that was so I've got two plans for future knitting so one is mermaid socks by summer lee knits um I was gifted this yarn that's really blowing out it's not as it's not as bright as that it is turquoisey and green but it's not as like turquoise as that it's it's a bit more subtle. <laughs> um, so I was gifted this yarn oh, years ago. It's been sat in my stash, waiting for something to come up with it, and it's beautiful. But I just I've never I've never found something that I want to use that on, if you know what I mean. And then I seen some lean it's mermaid socks, not mermaid. I don't know what that is. Um, and I thought that's it. That's, that's what I want to make. So I'm going to cast those on when I've finished my vapor socks though. I need to finish that first. Um, so this yarn is this one, the label's torn. So I think it's Crazy Foot yarn in mountain colours. I think that's the right way around. Beautifully hand painted yarns. And this is the cornflower colourway. I've no idea if that's still available. This was gifted to me a long time ago, like four years, five years ago. But it's a really nice yarn. It's quite a, uh, it's not like soft and flouncy. It's like a sturdy type of yarn. So I think it'll make a really nice pair of socks. So that's what I'm planning. God, that looks so bright there. And it's really not that bright. It's beautiful. Um... So mermaid socks, that's getting cast on in the next couple of weeks once I finish my vapor sock. 
Um, and then I did a thing. So for Christmas, um, Terry, my partner, bought me some um, hedge, hedgerow yarns. He bought me two skeins of this. So this is hand dyed, hand painted yarn. This is a one of a kind colorway and it's in um, her silky singles. So it's 70% superwash merino and 30% silk. It is incredibly soft and incredibly beautiful. I don't know if you can see all the colors in it. So it's a bit lighter up this end as well. Can hear that whooshing noise it's um terry on his exercise bike <laughs> so he bought me two skeins of this for christmas this year just gone and each skein has got 400 i keep looking in the wrong place i'm really sorry each skein has 400 meters in it and i've been really really hankering to knit a summer top and I had my eye on one, which I can't for the life of me think what it's called now. But I bought the pattern. I'll put it, I'll put it here. Um, I'll put a picture of the pattern. So I bought the pattern and I really want to knit this top. But for the size that I need to knit, I needed 920 metres, I think, or 960 metres. One or the other. I can't quite remember. And I had 800 of this and I, I really want, I didn't want to, because I'm not really a shawl sort of person. I think shawls are beautiful, but I just, and I have a couple, but I don't really wear them all that much. So, and I wanted something that I was going to wear a lot with this. I w not wear a lot, but like wear, probably wear, <laughs> not just sit in my cupboard, basically. So, because this is one of a kind and he got it at Christmas, I obviously can't get another skein of it. So I did a thing. I went hot on Hedgerow Yarns website and looked at a Silky Singles and bought this one, which is Peach Melba. So... What I thought was, see, there's some quite peachy tones in the one of a kind one. Hope that's focusing for you. And I thought maybe because the top, the top is is um, it's plain, and then it's got like this lace across the yoke. So I thought, what if I did like a fade? So if this was like the plane and then this was on the top where all the lace is so that the lace stands out because it's a solid and um, and then the variegated is on the bottom. I'm just, I'm so scared to do it. <laughs> I've never done a fade before and um, I'm just like, is that the right colour? Have I, have I done that right? Because like that's quite green down there and maybe it's gonna look messy but like up here it's pinky and see that it goes lovely there but at the bottom it's a bit like ooh what's that so I'm a bit oh, I don't know let me know what you think <laughs> tell me what you think at first I thought maybe I should just do the occasional stripe of this going through but then that's going to take a lot of maths to figure out how many times I'm going to need to stripe it so that I've got enough for the entire top and I don't think I've got that maths in me at the minute it's probably easy maths but I always look at maths and go Ugh! until I sit down with it um so yeah then I was thinking this this is really variegated so it could um I could lose the lace using this what, what would you do? What would you do? You tell me. Tell me in the comments. <laughs> what would you do? Um, and that leads us smoothly on to acquisitions because that's one. 
my hetero yarn. I love hetero yarn. It's so beautiful. And um, this is incredibly soft with the silk in it. And I can't wait to get knitting with it. It's a, it's a four ply yarn, by the way, fingering. Um, yeah, I can't wait, but I'm just, I'm nervous. I'm nervous that it might go wrong. And the other acquisition I got since you last seen me was a project bag from Songbird Handmade. Can you see this? So this is all the way from Canada from Katie at Songbird Handmade and she does these beautiful, they curl over and everything, beautiful um, project bags that are like, fit a fair bit in there to be fair, I've been putting socks in there, but um, yeah, they can fit fit a good, a good load of stuff in there. So I've been wanting one of her bags for ages. It's the same on both sides as well. I've been wanting one for such a long time. And she did a shop update that was, because um, normally when she does a shop update, it's when I'm asleep, because she's in Canada. Um, but she did one and it was like nine o'clock at night for me. So I set an alarm in my phone and got on there and got one. So I managed to get one. So yeah, that's pretty much it. It's a short one this, this time, I'm afraid. Um, yeah, I don't think I've got much else to to let you know girls dresses in testing and it's all going well it's hopefully going to be released in july time um, and i'll show you that again when it's released because last week was just ugh, awful but i can't show you it now because it's out there and it's amongst the load of stuff i've got um piled up on my desk um yes so that's going to be released in july and uh what else Socks are going into testing, Ballad of the Tenderfoot. So if you fancy testing some socks, especially if you've never knitted socks before, then drop me a line. If, uh, even if you have knitted socks before, drop me a line if you fancy testing them, because that'll be going out soon. Um, and that's it. So hopefully next time I see you, I'll have another vapor sock finished, a better finger without a hole in it. You can't even really see it anymore. You definitely can't see it on here. No, won't focus. It was a big hole. I proper went mm, in there. So yeah. Um, and hopefully I've finished my vapor socks and hopefully I've cast on these with this day glow yarn that isn't actually day glow. And, and hopefully I'm a bit further up with pink fizz. And hopefully that's, that I'm wearing the lariat. <laughs> If I'm not, it's going to be in the bin. I'm telling you now, I'm so close to just going <laughs> frogging the lot. <laughs> right, that's it. So um, I will see you uh, in a couple of weeks time. And um, yeah, hopefully we're a bit further on and I've got a bit more to show you. So have a lovely rest of your day and enjoy your knitting. See you soon.